Hello, and welcome to my, the tour of my building. As you see, I started off with the main entrance. We have two lava in each grouping of glass. Then we have waterfall to kind of rain down over all the ice. It was a pain to build, because any time I put a torch anywhere near it, it would melt it. Kind of went with a the theme, so it says before you enter, one thing you have to remember is that red is good, any other color is bad. It's kind of my theme, I went with it, and I mean, I had some fun. So we start off with this little room. Yeah, this is my cave, and you go down. I did use too many items to make this, mainly because it'd be impossible to get all this stuff in the short amount of time we had to make these. So, these are what I call the caves. You go down. Now this one only connects to one cave system. And I ended up getting a bunch of lava in here. And the water mixed. And just formed a ton of obsidian. So I didn't mine it out. Over here, we have a ladder that goes up. And it goes to this. You need to ride a mine cart all the way over. Oh, one second. As you can see, too many items right here. Diamond pickaxe. That was a little too low. And remember as you're red right before you first entered, red is good. So anytime you can search behind you, you always find a hidden chest. Put that back. And the map you gave us is really good. It has some massive cave systems. And if you look at this, there's some gold. And then this just evaluates and it goes pretty much straight up. You can find a lot of ores in here. A lot of other things. And I also use the single player command. It really helps a lot being able to fly to wherever you want to go. Instead of, you know, like walking or trying to make your way over. And we'll go back. Oh. Head back up, back into the main portion of my house. Come out of here. Up, up, up. No, the red and remember is good. I'll show you this. Green. Remember I said was bad. Or any other color is bad. And if you notice, when you step on that pressure plate, it falls. So if you hadn't looked when you first fell in, you would have fell down into a pool of lava. That's bad, obviously, because you're going to die if you have damage on which I don't right now. Now I'm going to climb up to what I call as the main portion of my house. This is just kind of like my area. I mean, you can feel free to fish here. That kind of got in the way building, but you can see what I mean. You fish into that pond, or you can even clear more ice and fish there. Over here, it's kind of for ha ha to wear a dog. You know. Well, I mean, once you're in the world, he won't attack you unless you attack him, but... Then we went up. And this is kind of where everything gets going. No, This is where I started really using too many items. I went... It's 64 around. And why are there cows in here? I have no idea why. Sorry about the lag. My computer had, like, a mini spasm. I still don't realize why there's cows in here. Get rid of those. Here we have the incinerator. Or the garbage chute. Whatever you prefer. Just fire. Throw stuff into it. Get rid of it. See? All gone. Burns up. I kind of made these like lamps. Because they almost look like a lampshade. And it's just the pole of a fence. White stone. And a wood plank. Kind of a couch. I know everyone does couches, but I figure you gotta do something original. You can come outside. There's nothing in the greenhouse yet besides a bunch of random animals. But just a greenhouse. Put these up here. They're kind of like heat lamps. No, they obviously don't do anything, but oh, for looks. 
kind of close this door. Got a quick view of what's coming next, but it's not enough to realize what it is. This is what I call the spare bedroom. It's really the only bedroom, but it's just kind of for, I don't know, take up space. We something to talk about. Hey, get your paintings, a bed, sleep at night, and a chest, almost like a nightstand. Those closed doors. We got books, a little light stone. And this way is up. Let's go this way. Again, I carried out the lamp. This bird needs to die. So then we go up. This is what I like to call my torture chamber. Because if you see, it says, Can you make it to the chest? The reason that is, if I can step in here, these fire off all the arrows that are inside of them. But once you get to the chest, there's good items. The cookies are just there for cookies. See? Just took a dispenser, put arrows in it, and put a pressure plate in front of it. And whenever you walk on it, it shoots out the arrows. I do the same thing with here. And the way I had it is you could just walk through the middle and not step on them. Yeah, I thought it would make it a little more challenging and actually try to have you walk around. You know, you walk up the house, whether it be without a portal or another. I'm just not going to go to the nether right now. But, that's just there. You don't want to go to the nether. This is one room that is just a huge, like, puzzle. You got to use, just like, your most randomosity that you could think where the prize is. And if you read the sign that's right here. Yeah, I'm trying to get out of here. But if you read the sign that's right there, it says, Can you find diamond? And obviously there's diamond on the ceiling. But eventually if you start looking around, you realize diamonds in there. Now, I'm not going to show you that too long, because then people are going to remember. And if people decide to use this as their main world, then they know where everything is. And what's the fun? Now, this is a maze. And I don't even remember my own way through So, I'm going to go in here. Wall, or not. Don't know if it's got to be up or down, so I'm going to put it up, I guess. I'm going to walk through here. It says, did you hit the switch? Which was the lever I just showed you. Here we go. I guess it had to be down, so I'll put that down. And go up. Now sticking with the path that any other color besides red is bad. This thing, I can actually show you this. I don't know if it's going to work fully. But I just need to move this redstone torch. I'll just put another one right there. And those are just powered um, rails. Watch, you'll see. They give you a little boost. And this takes you all the way. And I just kind of did a little exploring before I started building. And I found some, actually, like, some really good just things. Like, all there, that's a huge cave system underneath. This goes. And breaks there. Oh, my bad. And it's made out of soul sand, so if you do that, you fall out. Fly up, go over, have to fly. I don't think I have a minecart, but there's one in here. Make we need a powered minecart. You don't need one, but unless you want to keep getting out and clicking, you're better off using a powered minecart. And once you get over there, you have to go up a mountain, and without it, it's pretty hard. And it's, of course it's got, oh, crap. I would miss. So, I'll kind of catch up to it. And just hop in, hopefully I can get in before it's the boost. I feel kind of stupid right now, because... 
if a lot of people watch this video, I'm looking really dumb. See, no minute. And I'm not 100% sure if they can make this climb. Nope, they can't. You can't make the climb. That's just something you have to kind of figure out on your own. But I mean, but that goes all the way over here. And notice, there's this huge mountain. If you can get it up these things, I'll give you serious credit. Because it goes all the way up. And comes over. And I just did that so you can obviously see where you are. But you see that? That's the top of a mountain. I think. Maybe it's not. What the hell is it? Oh, it's a cloud. Huh. Never noticed that before. But then I looked over here. And there's this. The reason I didn't see it before is because my computer lags, so I had my render distance down. And then, this is about it. Oh, I have one more thing to show you, but it's all the way back there. So I'm going to pause my video. And I will be there in a minute. Alright, last thing I want to show you guys is continuing up the my thing about red is a good color. See, you do it like this. But and you don't follow my rule of red is a good color. And you don't have damage off, you will fall and plummet and burn. That's just a simple way. It's a lot of fun. This is Crotch showing you the end of my house.